Hi guys, I'm Steph. Thank you so much for checking out my channel today. I am so excited to be bringing you day two of Lip Week. If you have no idea what I am talking about, I'm going to link down day one, which kind of is just an intro and explanation about what Lip Week is all about, but I don't want to make this too long, so let's go ahead and get into it. Today I'm going to be doing the Lip Addict Tag, so I'm trying to combine like Tag Tuesday with Lip Week, so... This is what we have. This is a really old tag, but I've never done it and I thought this would be the perfect time to do it. The first question is what is your favorite lip balm or treatment? And that is so easy. It is the Sugar Fresh Lip Treatment. I love this stuff. It, it goes on so nice, but it, more than that, it is so hydrating. This is by far the best lip treatment I have ever used. I really, really, really enjoy it. It is expensive, but so totally worth it. That being said, this was a gift. I didn't purchase it myself, and I think I would wait till around the holidays when they come out with a gift set to purchase it, but I really like it, and I haven't found anything else that compares to it, and I'm so thankful that I received it as a gift. Second question, what is your favorite eye-catching red? That's easy. It is the one on my lips. So just so you guys know, this is the Sephora Rouge. It's in the shade R04. I have no idea what the shade name is. The packaging looks like this. It's kind of curved in a little bit on the sides and then the bottom has the color. I This is quite old. I don't even really know if they have this anymore, but as you can see, it is on my lips. I really, really like this. I probably only have about four red lips in my collection, which I was kind of surprised when I was going through it trying to figure out like best eye-catching red, but even just reading the question, I, I figured this was going to be the winner, but I thought I'd swatch all my reds just to make sure, and oh yes, this is it. I love it. I just think it is the perfect red for me, and with it being Sephora brand, it wasn't too expensive, and I really enjoy it. Question three, the best luxury and drugstore product. So going through my collection, I actually have very very few lip products that would be considered luxury. The vast majority of them are drugstores. So this one was kind of more of a challenge for me because I was like, I don't really have anything I would deem luxury, but I would definitely say the Bite Amuse Bouche lipsticks are probably my favorite luxury item. I do have a bunch of them right here just to swatch some of my favorite colors. We have Movember 2016, Rhubarb, and sugar cane. So I've talked about these lip products a bunch on my channel before, but just to show you, this is November 2016. Rhubarb is a very close, so this is no longer available, but if you like the color, rhubarb is pretty close. And then this is sugar cane. I've talked about this being just a great lip color that you can pair with anything. I really enjoy it. And I love these. They're so comfortable, but I would say that I have to put on something a bit hydrating before I go in with these, or they can look not the nicest on the lips, so that's just something to keep in mind, but I do really like them. Drugstore product, usually if you have a lot of an item, you probably like it, and I would say the most plentiful item in my collection is the NYX Liquid Suede. Here is just a few of them for you. I'll do some swatches of my favorite, but if you're following with Lip Week, you know that full collection swatches are coming, so I don't want to take up too much time with this video, but I will show you some of my favorite colors. I honestly love them all, but some of my favorites are Sandstorm, Stone Fox, and Vintage. <laughs> so just to show you those swatches here, this is Sandstone, Stone Fox, and Vintage. I just really love all the colors these come in. They are so comfortable on the lips, and they have such a great color range. Like, they have more wearable shades. They have really bright shades. They have about, I think, 24 in total the last time I checked, so... Honestly, if you're looking for an out there shade, this is definitely what I would suggest. I really love these products just for their shade range and for the formula. I just find them so enjoyable. So originally question four is best MAC lipstick, but believe it or not, I've never tried a MAC lipstick, so I don't really have one to tell you. So I thought I would trade this question with what is the oldest lip product in my collection? And that would be this Sephora lipstick here. It's in shade 5. I honestly believe this is discontinued. I've had this for quite a few years. Here it is here. Not too much left. 
just to show you a swatch of it. There it is. I really like this. This wasn't actually the color I intended to buy when I bought it so many years ago. I was with my mom and she picked up her like better than lips color and I picked up my better than lip color and we somehow ended up switching so I ended up with hers but I've clearly enjoyed it. I don't have too much left in it and I would say I'm kind of happy that mix up happened because I've gotten a lot of use and joy out of this. Question 5. Most disappointing lip product? And I wish this wasn't such an easy one, but it is definitely the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I heard so much about this product. I was ready for it to transform my lips. I was so, 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 so excited about it. And there was issues with getting it in Canada. They weren't shipping it in Canada, and then they were, and then they weren't. And it was this whole big thing, but I finally was able to get my hands on it. I was so excited, and nothing. It did not look work better than just a regular lip balm. It doesn't even work as well as the fresh lip treatment. I was so disappointed. This was so overly hyped and I'm so upset that it didn't work for me. Not to say it didn't work, it still does hydrate, but it's like from what I heard people talk about it, I had such high expectations that this was going to be the treatment that cured me of dry parched lips forever and it just did not deliver and I was so disappointed. Question six. Lip liner, yes or no? I would say I try to wear lip liner because I own them, but it's not something that I think, oh, I need to wear a lip liner with this product. I probably should. I don't have too many in my collection, but the ones I do have aren't like readily accessible. I don't really think to use them. I have one in a project pan, which is like a clear color. It's like an anti-bleed lip liner, which is perfect, so I can wear it with anything, but I never really think about like, matching my lip liner to my lipstick it just seems like an extra step and because I don't have them so readily displayed it's not something I think to reach for so I guess I would have to say I'm a no on lip liner maybe if I start wearing them a bit more I'll be converted but as for now I think it doesn't really do anything for me question seven favorite gloss now I'm not too much of a gloss girl sometimes I like to put a gloss over a lipstick just to give it that extra bit of shine but Glosses aren't really something I wear on their own. I just don't like how sheer they are. I like a bit of color to my lips, which is why I would have to say my favorite lip gloss is the NYX Intense Butter Glosses because these have so much pigment and so much shine and they're surprisingly very long wearing for a gloss. And this is in the shade Toasted Marshmallow. Oh, it is so beautiful. This is actually the only Intense Butter Gloss I own, but like I love it. It is absolutely stunning. Here it is right here. It's just so beautiful. I don't have enough good things to say about it. Honestly, just like talking about it and reminding myself how much I enjoy this. I'm like slightly tempted to go pick up more, but won't be doing that quite yet. But it is something that if I saw a sale on these, I would probably pick one up. I think they're just so beautiful. Last question. Question eight. Something else? So this is kind of just an open, I tried to watch some other people's to see what they did for their something else. Some people talked about a product they loved or something of that nature and I thought I would share with you my favorite lip color. I actually have quite a few different products of the same shade, which I didn't even realize till recently when I was kind of just like playing around with my collection. I was like, oh this and this and th oh my, they're all similar. So I definitely have a color that I like to go for. and. I'm going to swatch a bunch on my hand and show you what that color is. First of all, apologies for the terrible swatches. I am right-handed and I was swatching with my left because this hand is clearly full as you've been seeing. But here is the color. It's this beautiful like purpley gray color. I don't know why I am so drawn to it. So closest to this side we have Jeffree Star's Sagittarius. Next is the NYX Liquid Suede in Brooklyn Thorn followed by the Infallible L'Oreal Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in Angora. Second from this side, we have the Maybelline, what are these called? Superstay Matte Ink, and this is in the shade Visionary. And closest to this side here, we have the NYX Liquid Lingerie in Embellishment. And there you have it. That's my lip tag. If you love lips, then I highly suggest that you subscribe because like I said, this is lip week. So every video this week is going to be about lip products. And I would love to hear what 
your favorite products are. If you haven't done this tag yet and you're interested, please do it and let me know down below. I would love to check it out. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye!